How's it going guys? It is your boy Rish coming back with another video. It's a little different this time, as you could tell, different scenery. I'm sitting down at my computer. Uh, I got a built PC, got a little setup and whatnot. So today's video is gonna be basically me showing you guys how I edit my pictures and like a variety of them, like some car photos, some landscape, pet. Uh, so yeah, this little change up in content. Let me go on you guys real quick. All right, so let's get back to it. So it's gonna be a little different video for you guys. I don't wanna say it's a how-to because everyone has a different way of editing. Everyone has a different style preference, but this is gonna be kind of like how I go about editing my photos, a little variety of them. Yeah, there's nothing more to it, but to get to it, you know? So starting off with this lovely Sylvia. Uh, this was at a Cars and Coffee event. It was a quick shot I took. I just, you know, I like the low angle. It's looking good. So start off with the light, you know, you go with your basics. Uh, contrast, I don't like to do too much because it kind of gives it a weird uh, look if you overdo it. So just maybe just go up a little bit. Let's set that to, uh, let's see how. Oh shit. All right, so that's a little lesson for you guys right there because I messed up. Don't go <laughs> clicking around. See yourself selected on something. Don't don't click this and that because it's going to close you out. But yeah, to get back from it, just control Z. It's going to undo whatever you just did. And I'll just do that until it comes back to wherever you need. We're doing the contrast. I'm not going to touch that too much right now. With the highlights, I usually like to bring it down a lot because it brings out like more details on the clouds if it's like a little too white and bright and just you know obviously the highlights as you can tell like you know brings that down i don't want to take out too much of it because you still have to play with the lights right there. what i usually do and go about editing my photos is kind of like a three-step type of thing i go through everything i edit it a little bit how i like and whatnot and then at the end i add it up profile maybe if i want to and like you know change up the vibe and tones and whatnot then i go from there then i go back and go through everything again and you know touch it up then if it's the same set i copy and paste that you know as a preset so it could use that as a base starter on the other photos of the set not every single one is gonna be the same you have to do a little touches here and there which is just the normal thing what i don't advise you guys to really do you can just for like reference points and stuff like that as a photographer and over time and experience i would advise you guys not to buy presets only because you're kind of selling yourself short of what you can accomplish and learn and just end up doing yourself over time if you learn the edits you could learn a lot of different styles make you learn how to mess with lightroom and it would just get you comfortable as a photographer and you know just different edits and whatnot so presets are good starting points but i would not like depend on them or myself i wouldn't really buy any uh i have one pack in the past and this was like way like when i kind of like first mid started out kind of thing and honestly i never used it because the person shot always way too dark so you're like it's just not gonna work out guys unless you shoot somehow exactly like him and got the same setup and this and that then yeah you'll get exactly like this photo somehow but everyone shoots differently different settings different cameras so it's just they're usually gonna come out differently than what you expect let's get back to it Do a little bit just to give it, you know, the, the color, you know, the color. Another tool, point curve. You don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it, then you can really just kill your photo. It's, this thing is, it can make and break photos too. Uh, so just be weary of going about using that and just doing like too much because you over brighten it, you over darken it, you know, you do this, you do that. It's, as you could tell, it does a lot. So let's uh, get to it and let's try to make some points. See how I like it. Maybe I'll make this more like a moody, dark vibe kind of photo. It's kind of taking out the orange in the background. Don't kill it too much. Because 
see right now if I go too much it's gonna start giving it like that weird shady gray tint and fade it out and it just doesn't look good obviously so just you know just pay attention to what you're doing a little bit and you know, just work your way through all the little stuff and just play around with it you know I just that's what I do I just play around with different edits and just comes out to being some good vibes that I like so then I would like on certain sets or if I feel like it would match uh, copy and paste from that edit to a you know, new set and hopefully you know it looks good or I have to make some tweaks and whatnot so yeah that's, that's how she wrote let's go to the tone curve because it's a little bit same thing kind of it's kind of like the same thing practically so it's looking all right so far it's looking all right guys oh, yeah. this, this is kind of looking like a sunny summery vibe type of photo that's what it seems like it should be you don't want to overkill with the temperatures because it's going to start looking too fake or it's not right Oh, and uh, a little little tip, double click on any of the sliders that you want and whatnot, and it'll get you back to zero. So it's a little quick, easy thing. Instead of trying to slide it or type the number in, just double click it, and it'll bring it back to wherever the starting point was in the beginning. Vibrance with this stuff, it, de it really depends on what photo and whatnot. I usually, like, I bring it up no more than 10 same with saturation if anything i kind of dumb them down a little bit then selectively on the color mixer i choose what colors i want you know the hue saturation and uh the luminance luminance i don't know how you say the word luminance luminance either of them guys either of them but yeah i like to bring that down a little bit i don't know i just feel like it brings I don't know, a different tone to the picture. Your, your, you know, your eyes are focused on the, you know, the car, what's there. I guess, I guess, what I, what I think. But like I said, it's everyone's preference and different styles and how you want to edit and go about things. It's just kind of like a general walkthrough and how I go about editing my photos. Um, this is kind of like the basics. I'm not gonna like, I'm gone into like Photoshop and whatnot. At first, Lightroom is a little bit not complicated some certain things are you know i get some time you know getting used to but it's all about you know getting comfortable with it and repetitiveness and just keep doing it that's why i say don't get presets because you're gonna fall yourself short and do that and it's just not gonna learn let's get to the colors mixer usually with the blue i like to bring it down because it always brings like a, a blue tints in photos a lot of the times I like to bring it down, especially with black cars, because then it really makes their cars pop. And there's really no blue anywhere in this photo, so I'm just gonna like, that's what I do, I just take it out completely. Right, flip some of the wheels, I don't wanna do a little bit of that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Clarity, clarity and dehaze are two top things that people tend to uh, overuse it really does make or break photos as well it just makes it look too fake or just the colors unrealistic like you know you see it just looks looks like some video game stenciled out pastel painted picture type of thing i don't know how to describe it but it doesn't look too good usually i like to just bring it up a little bit because it does bring out some details so you know 12 12 looks decent same with dehaze i like to do a little bit because it brings moodiness to photos and that's kind of what i'm going for in like glowy summery moody vibe vignette you can make vignette stuff you know you could use this to make things look really nice i haven't used it a lot personally you know i just don't tend to use it for some reason i kind of have a little bit more recently in certain photos more like some landscape things uh Maybe a little bit of look good on this one. Let's see. As you can tell, you know, midpoint, you see what it's doing on the outside right here. Focusing on where, basically. Let's bring that back for right now, because I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> I, don't, 
I don't like it too much. Not all the time. Like some people make it look really nice, but certain photos, guys, certain photos. It's all preference. Sharpening. I usually like to play with this a lot, bring it up. Again, this is just kind of like a quick go about. Now, I like to actually, you know, obviously auto straighten the photo, see if I like it like that. Uh, aspect ratio always four times three because that's uh, Instagram's thing. And you just dumb it down to kind of how you want. Come over here to radial gradient, do selective circles like this. Or you could do your brush option. If I could do a brush, uh, well, brush. You do your select or whatever, then you color an area in. So I'm gonna go with the radio gradient. I'm gonna do a little, a little oval. Let's kind of bring down the highlight over here. Because you know, it's blowing out of proportions. Another sponsor, one apple juice. You need my apple juice. It would be lit to get sponsored by someone, something. That'd be awesome, but that is way down the line. I am nowhere near. I sponsor myself. <laughs> I sponsor myself, guys. Rich sponsored. All right, so let's bring down the highlights. Enough chatting. Another way, when you're taking photos, you could do like layers and stack them and whatnot, doing different exposures with the CPL folks who are like spinning it, you know, getting the black out of the car, spinning it, getting the whole windshield, spinning it, getting the outside, like, you know, stuff like that. I can do a video of like how I do photography, do a POV of just me shooting a car and stuff and just how I go about it, maybe explain some settings and stuff like that. If you guys would like to see something like that, let me know. I would love to do more photography videos, which I'm probably just gonna start doing. Definitely more at home videos, more gaming videos, everything. We're gonna come here to the linear gradient. This is the whole thing. See where it's shading in, where it's gonna do the edits. We, we, we. Kinda wanted to bring down the exposure on the ground because it was pretty bright. So we done did that. Let's go to the profiles, one of my favorites, because this could really, you know, change up some vibes of the photo. Right, let's go to let's go by the list. Artistic. This is always a nice one, but it makes the oranges always look weird. Black and white. I haven't really used any black and white, like ever, honestly. I haven't played around with that too much. Kind of like this one, Modern 6. Bringing out details in the picture. That's a nice one too. It's subtle. I like this, like, I like Vintage 6, but on this one, it's kind of like making what I just did right again, so it ain't a chief. Let's go back to modern, right? Was modern six. That one's kind of looking good. Mm -hmm. Decisions. Which one do I like? Let's go with this one. Let's go with that one, guys. It doesn't look too bad. So let's come back to the lights, exposures. This is kind of a little before, after, before, after. It's honestly not too crazy. Not every photo you're gonna over edit or want to over edit or need to. Yes, if you want, if you have a nice picture and you want to swap out the background, you got to do another layer, get a landscape, you know, brush it all in, blend it, and all that type of stuff. That's more in depth video. We got that one down. 